Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm excited to open this package. I ordered uh, one of those reusable oil filters from USA Oil Filters online, and I just received it today, so I'm excited to open it. The reason I'm uh, excited about this is I have this Tempest oil filter that I got from my local FBO. I wanted two. They only gave me one. Only sold me one, and the reason is because they can't get them uh, any easier than we can, and they've got a small fleet of airplanes to maintain, so I certainly understand, but that's a big problem, you know. If you change oil every um, every few months or six months or so, um, we need these filters pretty regular, so I had to find another solution, and uh, this uh, discovered online the uh, USA oil filters, so I'm excited to open it. Let's get this open and see what we have. There is a cost um, initiation to use a reusable filter. This one here, with my little cash discount at the airport, is about ends up being almost 30 bucks for one. So, you know, two or three changes a year, you're looking at 60 to 90 dollars. This here was uh, right at 200 dollars to purchase. So, just depending on how quickly or how often you change your oil. Uh, it's going to determine how quick it's going to take you to make money back. All right. Well, I'm in... Open it upside down. I'm impressed with the packaging. Even had some foam in there. And some bubble wrap. And a brochure. There's a picture of it. You can get them in different finishes. I just chose the basic uh, aluminum uh, machined finish. So let's set that aside and let's get into this. The weight is kind of surprising. It's heavier than I thought it would be. There's some more uh, stickers or something. It came, I guess, with one O-ring extra because I ordered one, so they're both in there. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, it's even got uh, an O-ring here. So this is the one to come with it. It came with one extra, I suppose. I didn't know it was gonna do that. It didn't say anything about it when I ordered, and I ordered one extra, so. And the thing about these, the site said that you can use these over and over and over again, but uh, you know, it's my feeling that at some point the rubber is not going to re rebound the way that it should. So uh, I'll probably change it after two or three oil changes, put in a new one. So one of them ought to last a year. And this little cup here goes on the machined uh, flat spots at the bottom with a 3 8 I think that's a 3 8 ratchet right there. Uh, you know, for a 3 8 socket. So you can put it on and torque it. You don't want to put any kind of wrench on here and mess up this pretty machine finish. And I have to say that just looking at this, this is top-notch quality. Top-notch quality. All right, this is supposed to come out by pushing down. Well, first, let's, let's have a look at it before we take it out. I don't know if you can see that. There's the, the O-ring where it's going to mount on the face. Uh, you know, to the engine. I ordered this. That didn't come with it. I had to order that uh, separately, but they put it in for me, so that was nice of them. And if you'll notice right here, this is a rare earth magnet. And it is, uh, I looked up online, you know, what's the advantages of a rare earth magnet, and I think they are some of the strongest magnets uh, there are, natural magnets. But anyway, you push down on this, and counterclockwise and let it come out. So you can see how that comes out. Oh man, look at that. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But boy, look at the quality of that. That is a stainless steel mesh filter. Um, I don't know if there's anything else inside it. And an interesting note, these filters, this is a Tempest, but uh, these kind of filters, from what I read online, have a 
typical filtration um, of 50, no, 40 to 70 microns. And this has, and, and, and it's variable depending on where you are in the filter. This here is supposed to have a consistent 35 microns throughout. So that's good. Let's see how strong this magnet is. Wow, look at that. Right at the end of the knife. I wonder if it'll do it the other way. Pretty strong magnet. So that should catch any kind of carbon steel floating by. Um, you can see the quality of that machine work. And the quality, there's a spring inside that holds the filter up against uh, the top inside of that. Outstanding quality. Um, like I said, the filter is smaller than I thought it would be. The whole unit's a little smaller than I thought it would be, but that's, that's okay. It, it's supposed to be the right one. This is an, I think it's an S15. Uh, these uh, little deals right here are heat sinks, supposed to assist with oil cooling. One thing you notice, though, it doesn't have any holes anywhere for safety wire. Two ways to solve that problem. One is to put a hose clamp on it. Once you get it mounted to the engine, put a hose clamp in a position so you can run a safety wire around the hose clamp and, and tie it off. Uh, another way, uh, this is somebody on Vans Air Force did, was they just drilled a couple of holes about 100 degrees apart You know, once they saw where to put the holes uh, that was in a good position on this last fin up here. Just a couple of holes big enough for a piece of safety wire. The one thing that's confusing me is, from what I understand, this is not, I didn't think it was an FAA approved filter um, because that's another website, same company, but another website to get FAA PMA approved filters. However, in the brochure, I saw this online somewhere, it says FAA approved. But I just I'm I'm not I'm not sold on that yet. Maybe they're just talking generically. They've got some that are approved. Uh, another interesting thing is this the the filter in this. It's uh, supposed to you you should get oil pressure almost instantaneously after starting the engine. Um, right now, you know, I live in South Alabama. When I start my engine in the winter time, you know, engine oil temp is still not that cold down here, 40 degrees or 50 degrees maybe. But I see oil pressure begin to come up after about uh, 10 seconds or so in the summertime, uh, half that. But uh, I saw a video online where they demonstrated and somebody started a, an engine and the oil pressure came up almost immediately. And uh, that's what the, the company claims as well, that it's supposed to, you know, you get oil pressure a lot sooner. Another interesting piece of information is the filter in there. One square inch of this kind of filter with one PSI pressure is supposed to still, still get 1.9 gallons of oil through per minute at only one PSI. That's pretty impressive. No wonder we're going to get some oil pressure pretty quick. It's also got, also has this... Uh, this one came with a bypass. You can get them with or without, but certainly you want it with. And I, I can't remember the number as far as PSI, but if for some reason the oil filter becomes clogged and oil is coming in here, this is not going to be a choke point so that your engine suffers, you know, for, from a lack of oil. This here, I, I want to say 15 PSI that that ball should push in so that oil can circulate in and then right, right back out and on through back to the engine. So that's a good good safety feature there. But overall, I'm very impressed with this thing. Not sure about this FAA approved thing, but uh, anyway, I think it's going to be good. And the, like I said, saving $30 on an oil change, each oil change, that's good news. And availability was the thing that really scared me when, I, when they said they weren't going to sell these anymore. And I look online and nobody has them. That's a good piece of work. So I'm impressed.